Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to decide if I like my hair like this or not. I just did it because I'm just like playing around with the hair color that I got for Christmas and I'm not 100% sold. I think it's okay, but I, yeah, I'm just not sure. Anyway, today's video is going to be a lip swatch on my favorite formula of lipstick that I've ever tried and it is the Clinique Matte Pop Lipsticks. So I hope you enjoy the video. I would love it if you would subscribe if you are new here. I post a new video every single week and let's go ahead and get started. So before I actually swatch them, I just want to talk about like the formula and the packaging just a little bit first in case you haven't seen these around. The packaging for each lipstick is the shade that the actual lipstick is. So for example, if I take the bright pink one, that is the shade of the lipstick, which just makes it so easy when you're just going through your makeup drawer. If you compare these, for example, to the MAC lipsticks, which all look exactly the same until you either look at the shade name or look at the actual lipstick. But these, like I know exactly what to reach for depending on what color I want. The other thing about the packaging that I love is that the actual color on here is matte and they do have just the regular pop lipsticks which have a more glossy finish to the colored part. Actually, I have a mini one I can show you. So obviously I'm not swatching the regular pop lipsticks today, but hopefully you can see this one just has a bit of a shine to it and this one doesn't. So if you have both formulas in your collection, it just makes it really easy to know which one's which. And I have to say, along with the formula, the packaging of these is just another aspect that puts them right up there at my top lipsticks. So the formula as well, like I've mentioned, it is my favorite lipstick formula that I've ever tried. It is matte. I generally prefer matte lipsticks over creamy lipsticks. I just like how they look a little bit better and I like the fact that they're not going to rub off the first time you eat something. But these lipsticks are so creamy. They look matte and they stay fairly well. They don't stay put quite as well as a liquid lipstick, but most bullet lipsticks don't. Um, but they do stay through like drinking water and eating most foods. But they feel so comfortable on the lips. They apply really smoothly and evenly. They don't emphasize any dryness that's on your lips. And they continue to feel comfortable and creamy throughout the day. So I don't know how they've done it. It might not be your favorite formula if you like a lipstick that you don't have to reapply at all, but I personally think it is the perfect balance between a long wearing lipstick that looks matte, but also isn't too drying. My most worn shades would be these two. This one is number one blushing pop, which as you can see is just the perfect nude and I have worn it flat. So that's probably my number one most worn because I can wear that day to day regardless what I'm doing. The other one that I've worn probably more than the others is number three ruby pop, which looks like this. This is just my go-to if I'm looking for a red. I don't find that a true red suits me that well, so I like to go for more of an orangey red like this. Anytime I'm doing like a more natural kind of eye look and I just want a pop of color on the lips, this will be the one that I reach for. So I'm going to go ahead and start the swatches now. I'm not going to talk through them. You'll be able to see for yourself what the colors look like and how they apply. So enjoy. <laughs>
are the swatches of the Clinique Matte Pop Lipsticks that I own. I forgot to say at the start of the video that I own five shades. Um, there are more shades. I think there's something like 15 or so in total, so there are more shades than just the ones that I have. I did consider going out and buying more just so that I could do this video, but honestly, there'd be no point because then I wouldn't wear them because these are the shades that I love. There probably are more in the range that I would enjoy wearing, but I have so many lipsticks as it is, I feel like adding to my collection with shades that are not my absolute favorites is just such a waste of money. But anyway, hopefully these five shades have given you an indication of how they apply and how they look. As I said, and hopefully as you could see, they look so smooth and they look matte but they apply so easily and they honestly feel like a creamy lipstick to apply they don't feel matte they do dry down a little bit in about half an hour or so they will feel a little bit more matte on the lips but they'll still be like you're still able to rub your lips together and they don't catch in my experience these lipsticks have never felt uncomfortable yeah so that is it for today's video i really just wanted to put these lipsticks in the spotlight for a little bit because I heard a bunch of people talking about them when they first released which I think was like not last year but the year before. A couple of YouTubers did sponsored videos, um, a whole bunch of people were sent them and then they kind of just faded away and people weren't talking about them anymore and now I like never hear about them but for me they are still the best lipsticks that I've ever tried so I just wanted to give them a big shout out in a video of their own. I have talked about them in favorites videos in the past, I think they were in my 2017 favorites as well as my 2016 favorites of the entire year. That's how much I love them and that's how long I've been loving them for. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you've tried them or if not which shade you'd like to try. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you again next time. Bye!